This video should serve as a guide to anybody that wants to get started in VEX speedrunning. Let's get right into it. You're going to need four files before we start. You're going to need Dolphin, you're going to need the VEX GameCube ISO, and I recommend the US version so that you can use the cheat codes when you're practicing. They don't work on, the cheat codes don't work on the other versions, you have to find different ones. Live Split, you're going to need a program to time your runs and you're going to need a program to record your runs. And I recommend avoiding saving any of these files in your program files right here C drive program files avoid saving them here just save them in a separate folder like this so that way you don't run into any permissions problems alright let's get started once you have dolphin downloaded go ahead and open it up you should it should look like this except for there shouldn't be any games here we're gonna go ahead and set your game path and add vex into your games go to config go to paths and click on add and then you're gonna to navigate to wherever you saved your VEX GameCube ISO so for example let me open up my file explorer this is where I have mine saved I have mine under my C drive GameCube emulator I have it in a file called VEX ISO and this is what it looks like right here that's where I have mine saved so when you add it, you just go to wherever you have that ISO file. For me, GameCube emulator, VEX ISO. Don't worry if it says no items match your search. As long as you're in the right folder and you click select folder, it should work. If it doesn't work, then you may have to do some troubleshooting, but it should work. Okay, so now we set the game path. Now we're gonna set up our controller. Go to your Dolphin emulator, click on controllers, under GameCube controllers, port one, make sure it's a standard controller, set configure, and then here you're gonna program all the buttons that you're gonna use. So you can use any type of controller, you can use PS4, Xbox One, any custom controller as long as it hooks up to your PC. You could even, you could even use your keyboard if you wanted, I suppose. So, for the buttons, this is your jump button. A is your jump button, so click on click here and then press on your controller whatever button you want to be the jump button B is your punch button your attack button so bind that to your attack but whatever button you want to be attack X doesn't do anything except for it's part of the code in the below boat in the below level so make sure you bind it to something but it doesn't do anything besides that Y is your camera so if you press Y the camera is going to zoom in above uh, Vex's shoulder and give you a better view. Z is your inventory menu, so it's going to show you what hearts you have collected and the riddles for each heart and also which lore pages you have. Start menu is the pause menu. When you do the con control stick, all you do is click on, see it says up here, click on this button and then move up on your control stick. You can see how it moved up here on the control stick. You do that for up, down, left, and right and make sure you click on calibrate and then calibrate the control stick by just moving it around and try and get a nice and accurate calibration because if you don't do this you're gonna it, VEX does not control very well so just make sure you do the calibration there and you can also do the same for the C stick and the C stick controls the camera and keep in mind if you desire like I do you can invert left and right or up and down so when it says up you can just click on it and then actually go down and it'll invert the, the camera controls for you that's an option the triggers L is ground pound and R is activate rage and here you have the d-pad which is uh, not really used for anything you don't need to bind it if you don't want to but you can okay next thing we're gonna do we're gonna set up our graphics okay so from the main menu of Dolphin, go to graphics, and here we have the graphics configuration. We'll start on general. Your back end doesn't really matter that much. The differences between the different back ends are not very big. Just pick whichever one has the least stuttering and uh, makes the game look the best. It, it, it's just a... Uh, Whatever one makes the game run and feel the best, use that one. I recommend Direct3. For your adapter, make sure you have your graphics card selected here. For shaders, make sure you use synchronous shaders. 
this is the this will produce the fastest loading times and it'll make your game run the smoothest and just so you know you have the option to change the internal resolution from native to a higher resolution if you so desire or you can change it back to native if it's on a high higher resolution and you prefer native so that's an option there for you if you desire okay next thing we're gonna do is very very important your run is not going to be accurate if you don't do this step. This is the, the, this is very important. Go to Vex, Properties, and under Core, under Game Config General Core, where it says Speed Up Disk Transfer Rate. Click this button until you get a check mark. That is going to cut all of your loading times in half or more. So that's very important. So make sure you do that. Okay next thing we're going to do is the cheat codes so the cheat codes we do right click on the vex game go to properties go to ar codes and this is where you add in your cheats and i'll show you the cheats now here they are these are the codes so you get to choose what cheat you want all wraith hearts infinite lives click on add new code we're going to do Uh, unlimited rage which over here it says max town charge so you you highlight this here don't put the one or the two in just the code and then highlight the second line and copy that in right there on the second line below like that click save and there we go now we have an unlimited rage cheat so I already have infinite rage sheet here, so I'm just going to remove that one. But that's how you add them if, and if you want to. And make sure you have them checked so that they work. Uh, another thing is, to make the cheat codes work, in your config, so click on config, under general, you have to have enable cheats selected. And this makes it easier for you to toggle your cheats on and off. So if you want to do your run, you, dis you unable the cheats. And if you're doing some practice, go ahead and ch check it. And then now you can do practicing with the cheats on. Okay, so that is the cheats covered. Next up, we have uh, remove memory card and make save states. So to, to put the memory card in and out, it's in config under GameCube. And here on device settings, you have your slot A and B for the memory card. I recommend using the GCI folder for your memory card. You can use whatever you want, but uh, I suspect you won't have any problems using a GCI folder and when you do your run make sure you remove it and say nothing so and then just click close and you'll be good I'm gonna keep mine in for now alright now I'm gonna show you how to make some save states so to do this I will boot up my game so I can show you how they work okay so I already have a save state that I'm going to use. So I, I'll click on emulation and this menu here is where the save states are. So I'm going to go to load state and then don't worry about load state from file. You can mess around with that if you want but the easiest way to do it is from selected slot and from slot. So I'm going to load from my slot 10 and here we are. This is right by the arena so I can practice the arena. So I'll practice it. Hopefully I get it. We'll see. I think I will. Yeah, I did. Okay. So now I want to try again. I'll do load state from slot 10. And now I get to try again. And you can save to slots the same way by going save state to selected slot. Or save, tape, save state to slot and then say slot 10. So now it's saved to that slot. And then when I load from slot 10, it'll load me from where I was when I saved. And keep in mind, you can also uh, select a like a favorite slot, uh, state slot. So I have mine is selected as slot 10. So if I wanted to, I could select slot 9. And then whenever I do load state from the selected slot, it'll load me from that selected slot that I have. This is my slot 9 save. And if I want to change my slot 9, I'll just do uh, save state 
save state to selected slot and that'll overwrite my slot 9 because I have slot 9 selected as my favorite, my favorite slot. But that is how you do save states. And I know it's a little bit confusing but you'll get used to it, but that's how you do it. Okay, if there's any questions leave them in the comments below and I will try my best to answer and uh, help out the community to my best. Okay, have a great one. Good luck on your Vex speedruns.